Hello everyone, so today we're going to be going over part two of dictionaries. Now, let's start this out by getting the functions that I'm going to be going over anyways, by passing the dir function a dictionary. So, I'm only going to be going over a couple of the functions, not the constructors either. Um, so the ones I'm going to be going over are clear, get, items, keys, pop, Va and values. So let's create a quick dictionary here and we'll give it food, um, value steak. So key is food, steak is the value for this one, and then we'll make another key value pair of uh, soda and Pepsi, and we'll go over. Mm, phone droid key value so I kind of showed you guys uh, the keys function at the end of the last video and what this does is just return the keys from a dictionary now dictionaries are consist of key value pairs so the thing before the colon is a key so in this case food is our first one uh, and the value is steak and steak is our first value and it's um, you, to get steak as a value, you get it from food, or yeah, by requesting food food from DI. So they also have another function which is in parallel to the keys, and that is values, which returns all the values from the uh, dictionary. So we get Pepsi, steak, and Droid. Now these ones are kind of cool you know they're good to know and you can kind of show other people who are using your program what values and keys they have a choice of using if we use like my last example where you kind of show them a food menu or, or something like that but if you need the key and the values there's another function which is di items and this will return the pairs of the items and the keys or the keys and the items so we get key soda value Pepsi next pair key food value steak third pair key phone value droid which you know helpful that way you can get both of the sets and know both of them nice things to know sorry about that someone was knocking anyways so that will return the item pairs in a dictionary now, these are not indexable. You can't say like di.keysindex0. What what a ah, Excuse me, my English died. Um, instead what you need to do in order to index one of these things is actually use the list function over it. So if we wanted to make item or variable a equal to um, di.items we would and want to index it, we would actually have to say list di items now if we do a we get the list of it and not just the items or yeah the dictionary items uh, type that contains a list because that's in you can't index that so now we can say a zero uh, zero and get soda or we could do a zero one and get Pepsi now uh, now I'll go over git di dot git interesting thing and even though you can't really see it because it's kind of cut off by the screen idle will give you this little note thing that says d dot git k comma d uh, dk if k is in the dictionary else it'll give you a default of d and it will return none if that doesn't exist so, or if you don't specify D. What that means is that we can say di.git uh, soda and it will return Pepsi. We cannot, however, get Pepsi, I believe. Yeah. And so it just doesn't return anything. But we can also say di.git Pepsi, comma, and then in case something doesn't pop up, we could say nope dot jpeg and we get nope dot jpeg meaning that doesn't exist 
Um, which is kind of cool. It's useful because if you were to do something like di and then just index Pepsi, instead of getting um, just nothing in return, you'll actually get an error. And so that using the get method, you're actually able to bypass an error and give yourself your own value for it. So if someone's actually, if you're putting in like user information uh, or user input, it, instead of crashing your program because of an error, what will actually happen is it will just return a default value that you give it. So it's kind of a safer method of using user input with your dictionaries. Good thing to know. Um, now if we go back up here, uh, what have I not gone over yet? So there's clear and pop. Now pop is kind of an interesting thing. Um, if we do di.pop, oops, not uh, PHP, pop again will remove uh, a value, uh, specified key, and return, uh, or, yeah, my bad, again, English died. Uh, d.pop will remove a key that you specify and return the value to it. And if we give it nothing, it'll say that it doesn't. It expects an argument, which is kind of different from uh, the lists pop, I believe. Unless I'm thinking of a different language. Let me check that real fast. So, with a list, you can use pop as a function without anything in it. But with a dictionary, you have to specify what you're trying to pop, because dictionaries change um, the way that they sort things in it. Which you can see as soda. Um, ends up first and food ends up first even though I did or ends up second even though I when I originally defined dictionary the dictionary I put food first and then soda so a dictionary does not actually stay sorted the same way so it does that so that there's no issue with uh, the program because every time you run the program it'll look different um, unless you're lucky or something happens where it decides to use the same method it's just not always going to be in the same order. So with a dictionary you have to do di pop and uh, let's give this one soda. And it will return Pepsi. We look back at di and soda is gone. And so the pop method can be used to remove something at, while returning the value at the same time, which you know can be useful in certain situations like most of this stuff. Uh, you probably won't use it in every program, but it's another thing that's good to know. And lastly, we have clear. Now clear, like it sounds, will clear your entire dictionary. So now if we check DI, it's an empty dictionary. Nothing in it exists. Which is good if you're making a program where a user is making a dictionary or something like that, where they type in a value, or type in a key, it makes that key, and then they type in a value, and it makes that key value pair in a dictionary. And then they decide, ah, let's just trash this entire thing. So they press a clear button and then bam, that method runs and now the dictionary is empty again. So that's pretty useful. And if you go up here, you know, there's a couple other ones I didn't go over. Update, set default, um, from keys, pop item, and copy. And pop item, you know, that one's also pretty self-explanatory. I mean, if you do di.pop items, it's going to just basically do the same thing as pop, but for items instead of keys. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, press the like button, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments about the video, and if you really want to help out, favorite the video or um, share it on Facebook or something like that, whatever, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.